to show you how to use PERT to calculate half-life. So if I know that my uh, rate is negative 0.0248, in fact this comes from the last example, this is the, uh, this is the model for the decay of strontium. So let's go ahead and put that in here. I use that a lot, but that's okay. You can use the same example over and over and do different things with it. Okay, so strontium decays like that. Um, and what I want to do is I want to calculate the half-life. So we want to find half-life. Okay, so what this really means is find when, when is time, find when half of it is left. I could also find when a tenth of it is left, a quarter of it is left, three quarters are left, whenever, whatever I want to find. But in this example, I'm going to find when half of it is left. Okay. So let's think of our A. Uh, I'll work over here. Let's think of our A and let's think of our P in the equation. Okay. Because we know we're calculating T, so that's what we're trying to find. We already know R, E is a number. So I don't know how much I started with, so I'm going to use or think of 100%. Um, oops, I just put that in the wrong spot. Didn't I? Okay. So put that down here where it belongs. I start with, there we go, 100%. And then I want to know when I have half of it. Well, half of that is 50%. And if you like, you could also do it in um, decimals. So this could have been 1, and this could have been 1 half. You could just change that to a decimal. Or 0.5. Either one, whatever you like. Um, and it doesn't make any difference, and you'll see. It doesn't make any difference. So let's go ahead and put those in. So A is 50% and P is 100% and I have E to the negative 0.0248T, that's in parentheses, and now I want to solve for T. Step number one is I divide by 100. 50 divided by 100 is 1 half, which is 0.5. So see, it didn't matter what you started with here. It was E to the negative 0.02. T. So now I'm solving for t, which is in the exponent, so I have to take the log of both sides. I choose to use the natural log, and because the ln of 1 is, e, the ln of e is 1, so I have the ln of 0.5, and remember this whole power is going to come down in the front. The whole power, everything comes down in the front. Um, in fact, let me continue to show that in parentheses. So you can see that the whole power has come down to the front. And then I have ln of e. And you know ln of e is 1, so that disappears. Now I can divide both sides by negative 0 0.0248. Negative 0.0248. And then I can calculate that on my calculator. Here's my t right here. So t then turns out to be, when you calculate that out, 27.9, I'll let you do that on your own, 27.9, and of course I can round that off to 29, and I believe our units were years for this one. So that's using PERT to calculate the half.